Hi all, it's Ziv, web designer and lead educator here at Elementor. For this tutorial, I've gone ahead and built this awesome events website, so you can see how Elementor's full site editing feature, dynamic colors, and semantic HTML tags not only help speed up your workflow, but also improve your web presence, really making your site stand out. Let's dive in and see how it works. Okay, so let's say you're editing this single post template for the events on your site and you want to make a quick change to the header, increasing a column's width, for example. Instead of exiting to your dashboard and opening the header template via the theme builder, just to edit it, simply hover over the header and click the orange edit header label, indicating you can edit the side part. Same goes for your single post template, the page or post content, and footer, enabling you to quickly switch between the different side parts and know exactly which area you're editing, according to the blue activated editing area, saving you tons of time and a lot of redundant clicks. Another great feature that will improve your workflow is dynamic colors. As you can see, we have a couple of event posts that get the same single post template design. Wouldn't it be cool to have the color of some elements dynamically change based on the event you see, such as this section's background color and the post's navigation error? Elementor's dynamic color option can do exactly that, embed dynamic color values in any widget that has a color field. To do so, let's first go to our event posts. I'll open this one. As you can see, this post already has some content, and at the bottom we can choose a color for this post. I added this color picker option for posts via ACF. Let's go to custom fields so you can see. I added a custom field group called events, and inside it, I added a field called event color, and set the field type to color picker. I also added a rule to determine which edit screens will get this custom color picker field. In our case, we want it to show on the posts we create, so I set this field group to show if post type is equal to post. Let's go back to our post and change the color. Make sure to update. I'll open another post and give it a different color. I'll do the same one last time. Now all that's left to do is go back to the single post template and use Elementor's dynamic color feature to link up these post specific colors to the elements we want. Let's start with this section's background color. Simply click the dynamic tags option and choose ACF color picker. Then click on the wrench to enter its settings and set the key to the field we added before. Elementor's dynamic color control supports ACF color fields as well as custom field keys. Let's update and preview. As you can see, the background color changes dynamically based on the post colors we added. I'll go back and do the same to the post's navigation error. And do you know what? Let's jump on over to our header and give it the dynamic background color as well. Let's preview again. Cool. These dynamic colors instantly make the website stand out. This can also come in handy if you want to give someone access to change the color of certain elements dynamically, but don't want them playing around with your designs in the editor. Now, last but not least, let's add a credit section to the footer. I'll go ahead and click the Edit Footer label. Then enter the library, and in my templates, I'll insert this pre designed section so it appears below my original footer. Great! Now, I want the entire footer to get the HTML footer tag in order to improve accessibility, HTML semantics, as well as the on-page SEO. So I'll go to the site part settings screen by clicking the settings cog over here, and simply change the HTML tag to footer. You can assign these semantic HTML tags to all of your site parts, such as the header tag to your entire header, and the main tag to your entire content area giving you total design freedom while at the same time improving your SEO, really making your site stand out. 
Well, that's it. Now you know how to use Elemental's full site editing feature, dynamic colors, and semantic HTML tags to speed up your workflow and improve your web presence. Don't forget to have fun while creating and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.